I mean, generally, if it's suspicious of, uh, you see, that's the difference between uh, between my friend uh, Walter and I. Uh, Walter, when he has a question, he always starts by saying, I agree, and then he says when, why he doesn't agree. <laughs> I do the contrary. I start by, by saying that I don't agree, and I might end up agreeing with you. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm a, sus I'm a bit suspicious of people. Um, it's suspicious of the idea that lots of people are acting without authority. You know, there are lots of theories circulating, you know, that the income tax is not legal. Well, you know, some people have tried to argue this and they are in jail. This, this you know, is a theory, this is a fact. Well, perhaps, but perhaps. But, you know, there are people who believe that, uh, and you probably have seen them, you know, they are uh, overrepresented on the internet that, uh, that uh, I don't remember what the theory is, but if you don't consent, to whatever under civil law you fall under uh, under uh, under the common law as opposed to civil law and Roman law and uh, and then they can't do anything about about you. you know, if, yeah. if, I'm if, using their own law. I'm referring to their own laws. Well, it, it, it might be my own experience with the state, you know, because I did I did sue the state before I decided to flee to the United States. And stuff. <laughs> uh, but you know, is that uh, the problem is not that they don't have enough laws to. Um, establish their authority is that they have too many, uh, and that when you get into uh, into the legal system, which is supposed to be protecting you, or was supposed to be protecting you, including against the state, you get into a system that's actually meant to crush you. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, you know, I hope you can, I hope you can win, and I hope you can, you give them as much trouble as possible. And if in this case they didn't have the authority, well, you know, let's uh, you know get them, go go get them, but. Uh, don't bet your whole life on this. I don't bet we're, that. That's all I got learned. <laughs> we're, we're over time, but let's ask one. We have a 30 second question, I hope, Paul. Okay. okay. Um, Last question. So, uh, I was kind of interested in your supply and demand uh, problem, whether it revived the supply and demand. I was wondering if maybe you considered uh, whether it was kind of a snowball effect where you get some demand, and as it grows, um, other people will be demanding because the pool that is extracted grows. Um, and whether it's sort of a, it's not one or the other, but sort of one playing off of the other. Yes, you would have to be, uh, you would have to be a bit careful with this, though. You know, um, if you do distinguish supply and demand as economist, I don't know if you are what about me. Uh, he gets a subsidy with my taxes, so why shouldn't I get a subsidy? So you go and get a subsidy, and your other neighbor sees this also. And you know, t to this extent, yes, you know, if the state can give privileges and money to everybody, you're going to have everybody uh, asking the state for money and privileges. So uh, despite my prevention, uh, I think there was something interesting in the question.